It's an intense year. I mean, every year it gets crazier and crazy. It's an intense year for the boys. I mean, every year when you come in, you're coming off of the summer, you're super excited, and then you start that grind, and week in, week out, you're trying to learn new tricks, you're trying to perform, you're trying to deal with the stresses, and keep your sanity. It's hard, it's, it's pressure. People aren't paying you to, to get sick, that's for sure. So the more you try to grab onto it, the more restricting it is. There's a reason that sports that beat you up, you get time off. If you're a boxer, you don't box every week. If you're a football player, yeah, you go game day on Sunday or Saturday, but then you take all week off without getting hit. When you're trying to learn these tricks, you're getting pounded at the contest, and then you have five days to try and learn a trick that you still don't know that you're getting pounded, pounded, pounded. So yeah, man, your body's getting crushed out there. It's like, yeah, your brain's done, your body's done. It's, everything's just, I mean, when I look back on them, it's impressive. Yeah, man, you just sometimes crack and you take some time off. All right, we're at the Boulder Skate Park right now, take a nice little break from snowboarding. It's always good to just take a couple days off and skate. I mean, my board's definitely, it looks like it hasn't been skated for a while, but We'll give it some love. Having other interests is, it's so important. Because think about, it. your time of growth as a snowboarder was when you did other things. You skated, you went, you know, partying, you hung out with your girlfriend. I think skating for people that, that really can do it, again, it just opens up your creativity. It allows you to build your legs, to, to think about things differently, and then to expose yourself to it in a different environment. Yeah, you have to go skate, you gotta go hang out, you gotta go chill, you gotta go get inspired, you have to have time off. It just starts to free your mind from the garbage of, I gotta learn a double, I gotta learn a double. Jack and the boys are geniuses. I have no idea where they get their creativity. It just, it exemplifies what they're all about. I think they literally sit down, they jam out on some guitars, and they're just like, all right, I got an idea. We're making fun of Kira this week. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the dual label experience of Kia Dillon with my man, Scotty Lego. Yeah, 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 I actually thought Danny could have did it better because he's really good. All right, well, check back with us. We're here at the top of Breckenridge, taking it back to you. <laughs> I always say, if you can't laugh at yourself, you got problems. And if someone's willing to laugh at you, there's a certain level of respect there. And don't worry, one of these days, I'm going to retaliate with my own skit. Every week, to see them putting crazy skits on, to see people that you would think would be so serious out there having fun, I mean, it's... I'm super tight with them when I watch it. I'm just like, you guys are geniuses. Like, it's just cool to see that level of creativity. I'd say for us snowboarding, it's it's a feeling and it's an expression. It's it's artwork. So when you're able to play music and jam out and find your, your zone and find, like, let the music carry you to a space that you need to then visualize and, and, and be centered in a place that, like, makes sense, it's so crucial and skating, it's like feeling the transitions and having flashbacks or getting, you know, creative juices or elements you can throw into your snowboarding. It all plays together. And skating, if that allows you to have a good mental state and have fun, it's gonna transition over to your snowboarding.